This is the AOMS TART tutorial part 3. This tutorial is about the location and orientation of the structure sensor scanner when scanning feet or casts. It is important for the users who are using it to get quality product. Let's get started. This is an ideal distance and the orientation of the scanner relative to the foot cast being scanned on the floor. The bounding box should be parallel to the picture frame. The bounding box should be large. This principle applies to scanning feet also. This picture shows a non-ideal distance. The scanner is too far from the foot. The scanner emits infrared laser speckles like smears to make scans. If the distance is too far, the resolution of the image is poor. For our application, you want to get as close as possible. However, there is a minimum distance requirement, which is 400 millimeters, roughly 16 inches. Anything closer than that will disappear from the scene. This picture shows a non-ideal orientation. As shown in the first picture, the foot should line up with the frame. This step ensures that the cast correction part of the CAD CAM work can be done smoothly. You can use the scanner either vertically or horizontally. This is an ideal distance and the orientation of the scanner when scanning a bare foot in the supine non-weight bearing position. The same principles introduced above apply to scanning bare foot. This is an ideal distance and the orientation of the scanner when scanning a foot in the prone non-weight bearing position. Still, use the same principles to make scans. We indeed understand it is a difficult task when scanning a live person's foot when you try to follow the rules. That's why everyone needs some training and practice. Depending on the foot position, you may have to bend over or you may have to knee down. The critical moment is when you tap the scan button. Once you have tapped the button, the bonding box is set. You can slowly move around and stretch your back. Good images are used to ease the CAD CAM work and to ensure accuracy. After the images reach the lab, lab technicians start their work. The better of your image, the better and easier for their work. They do this on a daily basis. Better images will eventually help the orthotic labs to make better product for you. To help them is to help you. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any technical questions, please contact SharpShape. More information can be found at sharpshape.com. If you have questions for your lab, please contact them directly.